cousin, and they had a sleepover last night, so she's going to be joining Who's me. Who's they? You said Kara, and then you said they. Who else stopped over? Um, Kyle and Chloe, my brother and sister. Yeah. What color do you want to have your background for today? Um, All right, set up. Uh-huh. So today we are going to be testing out the Cano Pixel Kit. And here it just has a picture of what it should look like when you're done. And up here in the top left corner, it has like a little picture of someone playing with it. So in the back, it, you can build it yourself, um, play with code. So you can just code it and then paint with light and you can draw a picture. And it'll look really cool in the end. Okay, so now I'm gonna open it up and we have a pair of scissors so that we can just cut it open. And on the sticker, it's it like has really like funny. a face on it, like a little boy. So then I'm just going to take my scissors and cut it open. Okay, so now we have it open. So I'm just gonna open it up. Oh, so there's, nothing there's like that. A, there's like a piece pad. of foam in it, like a pad. Oh, that's really so cool. So here's some of the stuff inside. Okay, so we set everything up. So over here, I have the little instruction manual, and it just says make a pixel kit. And then we also have this red charging cord. I think that's what it is. We also have a battery pack. And then we kind of have this little keychain thing, and it kind of looks like a little lanyard, and it has like, this face and cano on it. And then here we have the really big motherboard that we plug everything into. Uh. Okay, and we have two cases, protective cases for the motherboard. We have stickers, here's like a donut and like cherry. And then we have faces. And there's words that say Cano. And that's like the name brand of the product. And then we have a dial. So and then excited. Three buttons, one's black and two red. Okay, so now we have the instructions. And the first step is to pick up the brain. The brain is right here. And the brain actually has 128 lights. There's a lot. And then you want to turn it over. So and on the side. And then that is actually the computer. And then, if you want, you can talk to the Lightboard's computer using the Cano app. What? I have to download an app for this? No, you don't have to. It's just to, like, talk to it if you want. One. But first, you need buttons. See these two little red buttons here? Push both, both red buttons in place just like this. So you place so. it like... Kind of just click it in, and then I'll do the other one. This is what it should look like. Great, now let's add the joystick. It moves up and down, left and right, and clicks. So here's the joystick, and then you mm. plug it into the brain. So right here, there's a little plug, and then you just match it up with the hole at the bottom. Like this. Time for the mode dial. Each turn sends a signal to the brain telling it what mode you want. You attach it like this. So you put so it in the you, green side. Yeah, you flip it over and then you kind of need to match up the shape like this. battery to power up the pixels. Make sure it's this way up. So you have to make sure it's like this. Place the battery in shiny connectors first. The shiny part. Kara, bring it over and then like turn it over. Like show the back first and then you can like turn it over. Great. 
Now to keep it strong and safe, let's make a case. Put the front of the case on a flat surface. So I think this is the front surface. So make sure there's two holes on this side because this side has no holes. Or now here it actually just has pictures so it shows you you need to put the motherboard or the brain inside. Yep, and you have to match up because it has two circles and for the buttons. So let's try putting it in. Perfect. Two. It should look like this. Oh my goodness. So cool. So here it has pictures as well. So it shows you what it should look like when it's done as well. And then it tells you to snap the back piece on. This? Yes. So I think you just kind of like hook it on. But when you do this, you want to make sure that this little plastic dial stays in under the plastic so that it clips underneath like that. So it's on right now. And then I'm just going to turn it off like that. Awesome. If you have no lights, go back to page 20. Turn the dial to this diamond shape. It should look like kind of like a star. And you want to make sure it matches up with this little dot. So it's like matched up. Like, like this. this. Merlin noise, music fertilizer, and particle flow. Hmm. So I think right now we have Perlin noise on. Yeah. And then you can use the joystick and move it to make it the different ones. See, this one is the music visualizer. Yep. And, and this one par is partic flow? particle flow. Yeah. Hey, the rest of the family has woken up. This is Kyle. This is my lovely sister, Jasmine. And this is our baby cousin, Chloe. What? Select the one that looks like this. Press A to start. This one is A. Looks like that. This is Perlin Noise. So, it should fill the whole one. Perlin Noise makes field of color. It's used in animations, movies, and games like Minecraft to create textures and la landscapes. Use your joystick to adjust the noise pattern. So you can adjust it. Yeah. Nope. The A button morphs the colors. So A. It doesn't do anything. I think it just, oh. oh. Press B to go back to the menu. Select the second light show, music visualizer, and press A to start. That was A. Yeah. Now make some noise and see how the device reacts. So... Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh! Cool. I know, right? It just... The third light show is particle flow. So just move it this way, and the, we just we actually figured out you that can use the, the menu is when see. it's flowed over with light. So then you just particle flow. <laughs> so then you just click the A button, and then these lights these lights drift across the light board, leaving a trail of color like shooting stars. Use the joystick to control the flow of the particles. So you can use the joystick. Up and down is to adjust. Mm -hmm. That's my mommy and she is making us breakfast. I, I love, love you, Auntie. <laughs> Turn the dial to game mode. Yes, it's game mode. Oh my so, goodness. I think this one's game mode. Yeah, it's kind of like a little the... controller and then you match it up like earlier. Ooh, game mode. So cool. One. Let's start with the classic, Super Snake. Click A. 
joystick around to and eat the try to apples. eat the little fruits here and then it turns you really colorful. Use the joystick to move and when you eat it, it turns into kind of like somewhat like a colorful-ish splash. And it turns bigger. Super cool. Rainbow Runner is a space adventure. Switch lanes, avoid the white meteors, and grab the flashing fuel crystals. Swoosh! Steer your ship using the black joystick. Press B to continue. So you switch it? Yeah. Face the camera. <laughs> so you switch it? It's really nice. And then you press A to start. Three, two, one, play! Oh no. I think no. that's a meteor! Oh no! Whoa, that was cool though. I know, right? Can't avoid it. Eh, we're not moving. Oh no, it's broken. Work! <laughs>